Hi guys, I'm Madeline Harvey. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. We're going to pose a question, a very important question, and that is, do you really want vocal freedom? Now, on its face, the question is quite silly, isn't it? Because of course we do, who wouldn't? But let's consider its implications really quickly and then we'll put it into practice. So first let's define freedom. A lot of people think that if my voice is perfect because I've practiced my technique a thousand times, then I'll have some freedom within that. Now that's, that's true to an extent, to an extent. But it's a classic question of chicken or the egg. Does freedom lead to consistency or does consistency lead to freedom? Now, I think they loop into one another. So it's really, really important to, to keep that in mind. Like you do want to, con to consistently do your exercises. But the reason I ask about freedom is, is its implication, like what it is. Because it's not quite freedom if we make your voice choose only one pathway, one sound when you have available to you 50, right? And you know that because you'll feel that. You'll feel stifled in your singing. You'll feel um, made small. You'll feel ineffective in your emotional response. And we want your voice to be controlled by your impulses, your emotions, your feelings, your energy. We want all that to inform your voice. So today, we're taking a look at freedom leads to consistency. So to be very clear, we have, to, we have to define freedom. Like, what is vocal freedom? You could say that vocal freedom is the, I don't know, the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Like, it's what you work for, isn't it? But to me, vocal freedom is complete openness to possibility. That's what I think. Now, what does that mean? It means when I'm singing a song, I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking so much. I'm not thinking about placement or polish or tone. I mean, those, those things are fine to consider every once in a while, especially as a point of practice. But ultimately, I wanna arrive at the end of my technical work feeling that I know myself. I know my voice. Not only that, I trust my voice. I've got access to it. And so much so that I don't even need to think about it. That my feelings and the spont my spontaneity can be expressed in my voice. So what is that exactly? It's an attitude of as I work, I'm going to take away all the conditions of my voice. I'm gonna take away all those things that my voice might be using to hold on to. I'm gonna take all those things away because if you need them, you're not free, right? If you need to hold on to like every little sound, you're not free. So a great way to practice vocal freedom is to first and foremost, allow your voice to, to move, right? I'm just gonna allow my voice to move. Now, if that means that I'm doing a particular sound and it suddenly shakes, I'm not gonna get upset. Why? Because in that shaking, I've just allowed my voice to go to a place where I've not allowed it to go before. So it's about opening up those subtle pathways, allowing for that movement into those pathways. Okay, it's very, very important. It's like freedom is, is a something you've gotta practice, definitely. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and put our hands on our jaw this is gonna allow gravity to allow the jaw and the tongue and the back of the throat to just lay, be completely relaxed. And our sound is going to be huh. It's like an H-U-H. -H. It's not ha, huh. nope, no vowel demand at all. It's more like a drool. Huh. Huh. It's more like that. It's more like that. Why do we want that? because we want breath to be completely free. 
completely free to go where it needs to go. As we sing and as we make sound here in a minute, we want to allow the air pressure to be able to focus itself in the right place. In the right place. Now, we may not know what that is. So there's where that, <laughs> that allowance, that attitude kind of comes in. So H-U-H, hands on the jaw, very, very neutral. Oh, yeah, that feels really nice. Right, and we're going to feel that the H is carried by the breath. It's a non-phonatable consonant, so it's going to help get the air where it needs to go. We'll start on C, and we'll just go semitones, three semitones, C, C sharp, and D. Back down. See how the air was able to move it. And I'm not leaning on a like ha or ha. I'm not leaning on a vowel to help give me something to hold on to. It's only my breath. Here we go. to be able to really move between those semitones because you want to be able to feel that even though they're semitones that doesn't mean boo it means that they have a, a there's nuance and there's a variation in air pressure and space between semitones so we're trying to feel that out okay here we go d e flat d Just want to say just because you are familiar with these pitches doesn't mean you are familiar with where the pitches resonate so if you're feeling like oh just put that in my chest voice ah uh, nope nope you're looking for subtle variation you you're noticing that even though they're semitones the air and the pressure go to completely different spaces now that might be different from what you're used to so if you come across like the f is the beginning of the nasal port notes so they're gonna oh they're about to get really hard if it shakes, don't freak out. Let that shake be a way to split the air between high and low. Okay, you, you'll feel it when you get up, get up against it. Now, again, I'm imagining that I do not have a bottom jaw. I'm letting that be completely relaxed. And I'm not allowing any movement from the back of the throat or the tongue. So there's no vowel demand. It's just the air and the air's relationship to the resonating space. That's it. So again, if it goes, I'm fine, fine with that, fine with that. You want to allow for the space to surprise you. Because again, it may need to go where you didn't think it needed to go. Where are we at? There we go. Let's try this one again. Also, don't think in terms of chest voice or head voice. Doesn't matter because we're looking at semitones. So just look at breath and place. That's it. 
So if it's if it starts to feel hard, like there's too much pressure, sing it sotto voce, half of the voice, half of the volume. Okay, pull back that pressure a little bit. so there's no finished tone. It's just breath in place. Yes, it's very hard to stabilize because we're right in the nasal port. It means it doesn't really go in the nose or in the mouth. It's in that space right behind the soft palate. It's very tricky, tricky space, but don't move. Don't move and just let your breath respond to you. Just as a reminder, it's not a finished quality. So it doesn't sound like it's ready to take a mic, like to step on a stage. We're just looking for that blend and that balance. Here we go. slower. I just told on myself. Try to move a little slower through these transitions. Yeah, that A is hard to stabilize for me. Up to C5. Very good. One more time on that one. Good. So it's not a matter of chest voice or head voice. It's more a matter of getting the pressure in the right place. Then you can relax even further and then you'll get a more authentic. I mean, it's already authentic because you're not doing anything to correct it. You're not doing anything to perfect it or polish it. It just is, right? So if, it, it's, if, if, if it's wobbling, let me use my language. That's letting me know that there's a disparity. There's a, a fluctuation in the pressure that I'm losing control over. So it doesn't mean tense. It doesn't mean push. It just means stay with it. Okay. You've, we've got to be willing to kind of let our voices appear that they're going. Aah! We've got to, we've got to, because it's all about exploration of pathways, exploration of spaces without this iron fist demand for perfection. So we've got to let the voice open and flow and move. So if you're relaxing the jaw and tongue and the back of the throat, like I'm hoping that you are, you will get less, less muscular response in that, less pull, 
push in that. Hence, more freedom. The more time you spend with this, the more freedom you'll get. So if you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or click that subscribe button below. I would love to see you here more often. And I did just do a live on this very topic with an extensive amount of exercises. So if you like what you saw here and you wanna dive deeper into this topic, then click that join button below and become a member of this channel. As a member, you'll have exclusive access to all of our lives that we do every Monday and Thursday, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And it's okay if you can't join us live, you can always check out our members only area. Mabel says hi. Our members only area with over 100 hours worth of voice lesson instruction. So again, just click that join button below. It's only $4.99 a month, US dollar, and your contribution helps to support our channel. That way we can continue to deliver awesome content for you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you next time.